Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Quake as played on the Dark Places port with the Quake Epsilon mod as played on the Nightmare difficulty. I'm the Wolf Arok, and this is Episode 3, Map 5, The Wind Tunnels. Fear not, it's the only foggy area in, in the entire map, but for the most part, just grab all the nails because we're, and all the shells and health you can get because we're not coming back to this starting room. We're going to be jumping up here and being winded away off to the main hub. Just call me Windiana Jones. But rooms, it's room after room like this. Where it's pretty much, it's just designed to averse the rocket launcher. Because these rooms are often filled with fiends and other monsters that are closely packed in. And it, that makes the rocket launcher extre extremely dangerous to use in some situations. Now, for the first secret, just grab these nails, run up, just run down the hole, oh shit, run down the hole before you get, you get your balls ripped off, and there's your secret. Now run on through and grab the quad if you can, and just take out every last motherfucker with that. Run down the hall, take out all the fiends, and we'll take out some scrags, knights, and ogres in this room. Actually, let's ignore this. Let's make an attempt to ignore the scrags. And see if we can... Nah, fuck. Fucked up. It was too late. We'll just use it on the... No big deal. We've got enough nails to take out the fiend in the water pit below. Which we're going down right here. Turn around. And fire away! We should be able to find more nails aplenty. This is a safe situation to use the rocket launcher though. And I do highly recommend you suggest using it whenever it's safe enough to do so to avoid using nails for the more dangerous situations. Back up this waterway we come, and we're back in the main hub with the second pipe open. You'll know that it's open when you can have access to these nails. Jump up, and go straight underwater. Ignore everything. We need those nails first. And they're hidden in a submerged secret. Looks like a course of infighting, which is always dank. Grab the rocket launcher and any health you need as well. Yep. That's my kind of health when it's blinking. Blinky Bill health. Did they kill the fate? No, he's up there somewhere doing something. Been trying to infight with the scrag. What a dummy. Okay, we've found our second secret, so we can jump up this pipe now. Also, that room where we fought the knight and the scrag and the ogres earlier, we'll be coming back to that room again, as I'll promise. And here we are. And more scrags have appeared in response. This is also a safe situation to use the rocket launcher. And then we grab these nails. Make sure that we haven't missed anything. Ignore that bio suit, because we don't need a bio suit in this map. And then jump on up. Rinse and repeat. Hurl over the ogres. Take out the knights. This room's really fucking dangerous with the knights chasing after you. The ogres up above and a spike trap. And I've just... Oh god, I've just unleashed a fiend, so I have to fiend for myself. And we can pretty much just fire rockets at the ogres. If I can find them. Shoot me timbers! Okay, he's dead. Is his buddy dead? Oh, look, I'm, old. I'm nearly dead. Fortunately, the nails do fire. Oh, there he is. And then, there's his buddy's corpse. And now he's a corpse. Okay, I've got enough health. These nails fire in a square rhythmic pattern at least, so it's not hard to avoid them completely. I'm just not good at it. Like that. Fuck. Alright, there's some health boxes over there anyway. Alright, you can use your rocket launcher here to take out that ogre. Watch out for the spike traps in the floor. No big deal, we can just circle around them. Not the most difficult trap we've ever faced in this game. And we've also got an ogre coming up here, I believe, and 
Uh, yeah, a couple of teddy bears. So I hope you have plenty of Thunderbolt ammo on you. Let's go with the one on the left first. Yeah, just nose your way around the corner and wait until you're just... They're just in sight and then fire. And then just, you know, strafe ever so gently to the side and their Thunderbolts will never hit you. We have a third secret here too. We've also got some Scrags and Fiends to deal with. I thought there were Scrags, but apparently not. Oh, there he is. We can just rocket launcher everything here, as long as you know where you're aiming. I would think I know where I'm aiming, but apparently not. Alright, there's a fiend in the corner there. I like to make sure it's a safe shot where I know I won't give myself a rocket in the face by mistake. He should be dead, but what about his buddy? I don't see him running around, so I'm going to assume he's dead too. So, we just need to shoot this quake beam, quake symbol on one of the beams here, and we can get ourselves some goodies. Which we don't need any of, really. I don't think we'll be coming back to this room either. Alright, down we dive. Dive with me! Right, up to that main hub one final time and then we're going to deal with another fiend and a scrags and then one last pipe where's the fucking fiend where's the oh, is he underwater did he leap did he leap into the water I don't see him he's usually here This is really starting to bother me. He's usually running amok. Oh, God, why are you there? You're going to make me drown. <laughs> Stupid fiends. Thank you. I've lost health and armor over you. Heartbreaker. Alright, that doesn't matter because this health box is the uh, indicator for the last pipe to go up. And we just got to deal with a couple of ogres and some scrags and a secret. No big deal, just keep strafing around. They can't, their grenades can't hit you if you don't sit still. And the last secret has just been revealed. Uh, I'll have to shoot that again. Pretty easy indentation to see in the floor. Grab those nails. You know what? I think I'm going to do one very... No, I'm not. I'm not worth traversing all over the map just for a bunch of nails when I'm going to get so much more in the Chambers of Torment anyway. Yeah, the structure of this map really forces you to use the nail gun a lot more often than the rocket launcher because a lot of these rooms are filled with fiends or just dangerous situations that need to be dealt with immediately and in some of those situations a nail gun is a lot more effective than a rocket launcher. Most situations the, the RL is a hell of a lot better but in some situations you just need that constant hosing of spikes to quickly quickly diffuse a situation. So that's a well built map. It's a nice wind tunnel gimmick too. I approve of gimmicky maps like this that actually have gameplay.